coming up in this video. Hey guys, quick announcement. I'm moving to Florida in December and looking for dirty homes to clean there. The cleaning is done for free and anonymously. If you need help or know someone who needs help, please send me pictures of the home to this email address. The email is also in the video's description. Hello my cleaning friends! So today, here's a cleaning story that even surprised me. <laughs> At the end of the summer, a doctor reached out to me via email and asked for my help with cleaning. Let's call him Charlie. Charlie told me he was a 45 years old single man who struggled with obsessions and distressing thoughts. I was curious to know what kind of obsessions and thoughts he had. Charlie explained that he couldn't clean his apartment himself because it had gotten into an extremely poor condition. There was clutter scattered all around and two unusual boxes that were on all the time. Woohoo! Let's start cleaning with the best part, which is this sink. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at it. I get chills scraping off this gunk with a scraper. <sighs> I'm not really sure what this goo is. It's kind of greasy and somewhat sticky, but let's see what Scrub Daddy can do. Okay, it's coming off quite easily. Ooh, Scrub Daddy is enjoying it <laughs> as much as I do. Think we need more kitchen spray and detail brush. Wow, it all came off. But no worries, we've got some more. And by the way guys, today I'm not cleaning alone. I have my cleaning buddy Bonia with me. Along with a radio channel that wanted to interview us during the process. Bonia creates cleaning content in Finnish and is a very good friend of mine. And a crazy cleaning lady just like me. But look at these guys! Oh, I'm in heaven. But do you know what? Charlie mentioned that after we have help with the cleaning, he planned to hire a professional cleaner to come in weekly to maintain the cleanliness of his home. Which is great, of course. Wow. So, I met Charlie the day before the cleaning and we chatted in the backyard as he handed me the keys to his home. And then Charlie told me that he has OCD. And in case you don't know what OCD is, let me explain it real quickly. It is obsessive compulsive disorder and there are some intrusive thoughts and repetitive behaviors or mental acts that a person feels to drive and to perform in response to the obsessions. OCD can significantly interfere with a daily life and cause distress. By the way guys, here's one of the reporters, Nadde, and I'm teaching her how to clean the bathroom. Mm, let's just say she's enjoying it. So yeah, that's why the mess in Charlie's home was intriguing, especially considering his OCD. I had occasionally thought that people with OCD always kept their homes excessively neat and tidy. Guys, you know those TV shows where extremely meticulous individuals clean dirty homes because they can't stand the mess. Many assume that individuals with OCD are just the same. However, in reality, that's not always the case. Look at this! What is it? It's so... Oh my god, so beautiful! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> wow, have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Let's scrape it. But you know what's funny? People think that I have OCD, that I can't stand dirt or mess or anything like that. That I have to keep everything tidy and clean all the time. Unlike 
the opposite. <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I'm not bothered by messes and I have a very relaxed attitude towards dirt. Maybe even too relaxed for some people. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty carefree person but still very organized. I mean the cleaning process and a lot of dirt more than the clean end result. If you know what I mean. But back to Charlie. Charlie was also very concerned about his privacy due to his high-ranking position in the medical field. Which I understand. I always clean in a way that a person isn't recognizable and I promise to be even more meticulous in this cleaning. Hey guys, look! Probably for the first time in my YouTube video we are trying a damp duster. And I kind of like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It worked. Hey, let's see how our toilet bowl is doing. I poured some acid in there earlier to work its magic, but it didn't have enough time to affect. It's supposed to sit there overnight, but we are here only for today. So boohoo. Let's finish cleaning up this bathroom and enjoy some music. Then I have to tell you something scary. Something I've never seen before. What do you think? Looks good, right? Hmm. Let me just tell you guys, I was in shock when I entered the apartment because I immediately noticed an unpleasant and sickening odor I had never experienced before. I mean, it didn't smell like something was decaying, but there was definitely something wrong. It turned out that there were these weird machines in the apartment and he was running ozone generators 24-7. I must admit I was shocked. In case you don't know what ozone is, let me explain. During ozone treatment, ozone gas, a powerful oxidizer, is sprayed into the air. It destroys odors, bacteria and viruses. It disinfects surfaces, but no one should be in the area while ozone treatment is in progress. After ozone treatment, the space should be left empty for 24 hours, after which all surfaces need to be wiped down. And guys, here I was this morning with the devices were running at full power. The smell was so weird, like when I'm doing this voiceover, I'm, I'm just smelling the smell and it was somehow awful, sickening I mean. I felt genuinely sad when hearing this because A, the apartment wasn't so dirty that it was spreading like some dangerous bacteria or anything like that and B, Continuous ozone exposure poses risk to him and his neighbors in the building all the time. 
That is guys really dangerous. I know he can't kind of help it because he has OCD and he thinks he's doing the right thing. But that's why it just made me sad. Hmm. But I'm so glad that he asked for my help because now we can clean her home and after that he can get rid of those machines. I swear, I'm, I'm just hoping he doesn't have those anymore. Because even the hallways and the whole floor was... You could smell that smell there. It was everywhere, so it's really dangerous. I did actually pause for a moment when I realized there were two ozone devices in the apartment, thinking I might be risking my own health. But then I thought about the neighbors, who have no idea about this and they can't do anything about it. And Charlie is so exposed to this toxic every day. So I was thinking, let's just clean up this mess and then he can get rid of these devices. Charlie also texted me that he had to empty their fridge in advance because he was so embarrassed and his OCD compelled him to act the way. So I'm not sure what has been in the fridge here, but Bonia is about to clean it. Yeah, looking so good. Oh, Cine scraper is working so well. By the way, Cine cleaning is both our sponsors, so we have been with Cine's parties together and they are just great. We both love Cine products. Woo! <laughs> and guys, in case you haven't heard, I have a few really exciting news to tell you. First of all, some of you may remember that I told you I had a book coming out later this year. Well, guess what? It's now done and it will be coming out this December, just perfectly in time for Christmas. In the book, I tell my story on how I became the world's best cleaner and I also talk about my childhood and how I overcame depression and became the life-loving person I am today. And of course, it would not be an Our Katarina book without some of my amazing cleaning tips. The other thing I want to tell you is that we are also in the middle of designing an Our Katarina plush toy. <laughs> How funny is that? Uh. <laughs> So if you have ever wanted your very own Aura Katarina, which I know you do, this is the moment you have been waiting for. Join the email list in the description to get notified when the plush toy is available for purchase. <laughs> oh man, life is so weird. This is Bonia's sister Jansku and I'm teaching her how to wipe floors. <laughs> I mean, the kitchen is looking great. Finishing touches. Ooh, some fruits. Nice. Now let's continue with the living room. Bonia is going to reorganize this cabinet real quickly. And then there's some lovely dust. Wait for it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh man, yeah. Looking good. Mm. The floor isn't damaged at all, which is good. And this apartment is kind of nice. Oh, there's some dust. So we are using dish brushes. Wow. <laughs> like new. Oh, 
Okay, the bedroom is full of stuff. And look, Charlie doesn't have even sheets. He has slept without sheets maybe for years. I don't know. But I went to a store and bought him new bed sheets, which is good. Did it! <laughs> oh, it didn't work like that. Did it! <laughs> We were doing some TikToks when you throw the sheets and then the bed is done. <laughs> oh, a treadmill maybe? Hmm. And here's the before and after pictures, guys. They are amazing. Look at this apartment, so cute. And Charlie texted me after the clip. Big thanks, Auri. This is a great starting point. It feels like I've entered a different apartment. I won't let my home become a mess like that anymore ever again. And I'll maintain cleanliness by hiring a cleaner to come every week. All the best in life, Charlie. Oh, it was so sweet. And I hope Charlie also gets help for his OCD because it must be challenging to live with it. Now I'm on my way to the next dirty home. See you there, guys. Bye-bye. I love you all.